Hello, everyone. I'm sorry about my late. Uh, I hope uh, to not be that late. OK. Oops. UX designer. My name is Marwa Izuri. I'm a graphic and web designer, UI and UX designer, and officially certified user from Autodesk, uh, and a member of uh, GDG. GDG is an abbreviation of a Google Developer Group and Google Women Take Maker. Uh, sorry, because I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> well, uh, before diving with the user experience, we will uh, uh, panel this uh, discuss with uh, four main uh, topics. Uh, what is UX design really mean and UX methods and useful UX resource and UX design process workflow? <clears throat> so what is actually user experience? User ex experience is every emotional attract Attach with the user when you have your product. Uh, it's, uh, it's the process of enhancing customer satisfaction and loyalty by improving usability and easy of use. Well, uh, the four main uh, good things that make uh, good UX is the, the content, usability, UI design, interaction design. Well, guys, a lot of people make a misunderstanding by UI and UX. Uh, I talk with a lot of people when I tell them like, uh, what are you doing as a project with UX? They told me, I did a, a crazy inter interface and I put it in Dribble and have a lot of like, dude, this is not a UX. This is not a project. So this myth is about UI in UX. When your user wants a, catch, a ketchup, but you just give him a, a fancy, a packaging, and a fancy UX experience, but you forget the main reason why you want to give. It's a ketchup, not the packaging. It's a ketchup. There is like a mean, uh, um, uh, oops, sorry. Well, the second method is uh, you are like your user. Sorry about the picture, but this is true. <laughs> All you uh, UXers will know this meme. There is any UX uh, designers here? Um, nope, nope, I'm sorry. You, you will talk with me. Always the user know what they mean, uh, what they want. Well. Uh, the user don't know what they want. They want just the fancy stuff, but uh, you don't know how to use it. So you are, you are the one who make that process easy for them and uh, make the product good for them. For example, here, they want like a, just a brush, but how they want this brush? This is their idea, but uh, how you can do the process? We want to do a brush, like a real brush, but they have like, I need to just quick uh, feel my teeth, so check. You can tell what's the you cheat. You don't need the, the brush, the full brush. You need just to watch you cheat. This is a full product for you. This is what they want, but when you do the process, they don't like it. Okay, uh, this one for the client. UX best practice always work. Well, when I, when after I finish this uh, full process, you will see a lot of steps. But the client want the product tomorrow. Don't want the interview or persona or, or your process. You tell me that, I need to do this step and the, uh, this, this step and after this, this step and take like two weeks and after they no, I need the product tomorrow, do the UX stuff. And they think that UX is an interface. You will just do the crazy design and you will give it. They, for, uh, they forgot the, the, the main reason, you need to do a product to your user, not for you or for tomorrow or for launch your startup. It's a product that needs a full startup that, uh, process that we respect. Okay, uh, UX designer know all. Look at me, I'm stressed. Uh, it's not wearing hijab, but this is me. I don't know anything. I'm just uh, talk, talking about the, the process, but people see the UX designer, oh, they know everything. No, I'm not Einstein, guys. <laughs> not at all. So this is the, the well, uh, this is the old uh, magic star, UX design process. Empathize with users. Uh, how we can empathize with users is a user's resource. First is data. There is two ways to gather in data. It's first analytic with the quantity, quality as a user person. For me personally, I do the quality one because I want to attach with my user or my ideal person that I will give the application for. Observation. Observation it's doing for visiting the site, finding the ideal user. For example, if I'm going to the application for train, I will go to the train station and find the people who go in to take the train. And I will see the, the full process and find the ideal person that I will do the interview for. But before we do the interview, we need to just uh, 
uh, recapture uh, some question. For example, what you gonna ask your interview, uh, your uh, ideal user? You're not going there, and you're like imagine that I will give him a good application for train, and I was like just asking what train you do, what uh, what your needs or something. You need to have like a imaginary and uh, have all the backup of question that you give. Not like me, I'm stressed. I'm not uh, having full uh, process of it. Don't do like me. Have the full uh, question already done, and. Uh, the, the first question that you need to ask, not to, for, for yourself, not for the people, what there is need. All the questions depending on this one, what the, the users need. So basically all the questions that you will do for interview, it's based on this, uh, this question. What they want to add this application, what they want to remove. For example, if you have like a redesigning from UX, the, for example, uh, there is an application, old application, what, and you want to do a redesigning for UX uh, process, you need to do to give him the old application. The old application and see the interaction and uh, see the, uh, how they interact with it, what they want to add, want to, want the, what they want to remove, and uh, all that process. Because based on this data, you're gonna do a redesigning for your process. But it's not all the UX projects about redesigning. You can do a, like a full project, uh, uh, like a, similar projects or similar application and see the interaction on what they need ex exactly. Testing, well, uh, not a lot of the user, uh, user designers do the testing here. The, the, the testing is uh, the, in the end, but I prefer it, is for, I pref I prefer it because uh, a lot of data I can gather in here. Testing the user interaction, this is why I just told you that. When you have a, like a, all the products, you will give it to test and see the interaction of all these products. Uh, second one, define. Well, this is the biggest part. After the interview, you're gonna, you're gonna gather a lot of data and you, you must put it in, a, in pain points, like a list of problems. This is a major problem. I need to add this, I need to remove this, I need to change this. This is the pain point, like uh, put it in a board, a lot of stickers, I need, uh, this is the first uh, major problem, this is a designing problem, this is a coding problem, this is like a full, m full board for ideas. Persona. Person, well, uh, we did the uh, interview. First, first uh, we did the interview. Second, the persona. We create an imaginary persona based on the interview. For example, my name is Marwa Izori. I'm a designer or a developer, but I want to use a train station. I'm a creative, uh, for example, person, and uh, I want something like attractive for me. For, for example, I'm a kid. So I don't know how to use this. We do like a different uh, multiple persona, like father, kids, girl, female, like different personas, so I can satisfy all the, uh, the persona or users that I imagine that they will use my tree. But in this, uh, this persona, some people like do the different uh, people or kind of people, but it's wrong. If I do the application for athletics or for sports, I will, I will choose definitely the user as an athletics. I will not use a, for a person like a lazy or not doing anything and use this application. It's a misunderstanding. For Ideation. Uh, I guess a lot of people will have an uh, idea about design thinking if you have like a startup or idea about startup uh, uh, process. It's a creative strategy to put all the idea. It's uh, related with the, the first, uh, the second uh, method that I talk about is ideation. Ideation when you, uh, pain points actually, when you put all the problem, now we, f we find the solution to, uh, to every single problem. Scenario. Uh, scenario is like um, you create, uh, after you find the solution for your problem, you find the user flow. You will do every, uh, every covering all the interaction that a user will do. So user flow, it's basically a scenario. You will draw a scenario that a user will up in the morning, will uh, have uh, the application on, will, uh, will click in here and click there and click there. Just create a scenario of using your app. It's related with storyboard. Storyboard is like from the beginning. And user flow is all about application. How the user will flow and cover all the application. Storyboard is like from the beginning. Like I wake up in the morning, I wanna see the train, I will up the, the application form, I wanna do this and this and this and this. I will do it just like a story. I'm creating a story, a creative story about my behavior with this application. <coughs> Sketching. Well, here, uh, the part of designers, not uh, all designers, is like uh, sketching. I prefer to do it with the uh, wireframes. 
just like do a case, like uh, some, ta some tax stuff I want to do here, start here, logo and stuff. It's just like imaginary and with people with the case and circle and stuff, not in design for. A prototype. Well, if you hear any UX designer will hate me, <laughs> of course, after this word, DIY. Making sketch on paper. Well, uh, making sketch on paper is just like you, you put in all the paper down, you do a stick note, like an interface, and puts the, for example, the start as a ticket and the, the, the logo as a circle, and you will give it to your client to interact with. For example, if I click here, I will give him another paper, paper. it will be the second page. If, I, if you click here, you will go to this page. It's like a, a lot of paper of interface, but in paper. This is why I call it DIY. Uh, why I like uh, this prototype DIY part? Because when you give it to your client, you will see the, uh, the, the reaction of uh, the client. When you tell them, like, I will do this in the interface first, but you click it, you will go there. Uh, for example, if he click there and, and tell us, like, I need to switch this bar here and other function. For example, if I did, like, a, a high fidelity or design and stuff or coding it, it will be a waste of time. I will not say to the, uh, the coder, Please, can you repeat this uh, this function for me? It's wasting for time. Uh, it's better to give him like a paper sheet and uh, just like uh, click on it and have uh, like other paper. Uh, wireframe low fidelity. This is a wireframe low fidelity. It's just like a case. I will do this and that and that and that. And after that, uh, we will do the wireframe uh, high fidelity. People love this uh, wireframe fidelity because you see the color and the uh, live in your uh, application but it's still a prototype. It's just a prototype, you need the validation. User testing and validation. Um, normally you give the application to your client to test it, test it with the innovation and uh, other stuff like uh, interaction stuff. When you have like, um, for example, the, the wireframe high fidelity is already done, the UI uh, process is already, already done, the interface uh, with design is already done, you will do the Envision. Envision is a software, you will do the interaction. Like for example, if you click here, the, you will see it as a, as a prototype in your, in your phone. When you give it to your client, you will get, before you give it to your client, you will give it to uh, someone else. Like uh, the people you do an interview, for example, uh, you give him the, the, the final project, uh, the product, and tell him like how you can interact with this, uh, with this application. You can see the error and modify it before you give it to the client. When you give it uh, to the client with the, with the full modification, you will, he will appreciate, appreciate it more. And after that, there, the, uh, the last phase is a validation. But uh, don't worry, in case of refusing the full process, I don't know what to do. Actually, this is full process, a lot of days and everything. Okay, uh, this is some useful UX resource. Personally, I recommend this book bit about uh, Steve uh, Greg is don't make me think. It's all about UX and how you start with UX. It's uh, shaped my career, actually, with this book. And after that, uh, Don Norman. This is uh, the spiritual godfather with UX and the creator of UX. I appreciate a lot of his talk. I highly recommend to see his conference and stuff. He's mo more good than me. He will uh, help you all. And this is some blogs uh, to interact with the uh, boxes and uh, I forget Medium. Medium do have like a f uh, full easy steps to do the UX for your product. And uh, thank you. I'm really sorry for about my stress. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs>